for Buster to go to school. He mustn't forget his packed lunch. There's Scout. They don't want to be late. But who's this? A little fire truck? Buster is waving hello. At school, the teacher has a surprise. This is Ash. He's the new kid in school. He's going to be joining their class. Ash is going to Buster because he waved hello. He's so excited to have made a new friend already. Now today, the children are going to learn about parking. The teacher is showing them how to do it properly. Now it's their turn to try. Scout's got it. And Buster. Oh. Ash is sticking really close to his new friend. He's following Buster wherever he goes. He doesn't understand Buster is trying to park. Oh dear, I think he's got on Buster's nerves a bit. Buster wanted some space, but Ash didn't understand. At break time, Buster and Scout are playing. Aw, poor Ash has no friends to play with. But Buster and Scout have an idea. Ash can play with them. They're friends now after all. Now they're all playing together. Whoa, good shot, Ash. It's so nice to make new friends. It's evening time and Buster's cousin Bandit is coming for a sleepover. This is going to be so much fun. First, it's time for a snack. I wonder what it will be. Oh, wow! Cookies! They look so tasty! Buster and Bandit love cookies. There, one each. <laughs> Yummy. Now Mommy's put them away. But Bandit knows where they are. Bandit and Buster have such a fun evening playing together. But then it's time for bed. They want to stay up longer. But Mommy says no. Hmm, I think Bandit has an idea. I wonder what he's whispering. Now, everyone's fast asleep. But what's this? Bandit's waking up. Buster too. They're sneaking back downstairs. Oh, Bandit is going to steal some more cookies. That's very naughty. Oops, that made a loud noise. Mommy's caught them. She's very disappointed in Buster and Bandit. The two little buses are very sorry. They'll go back to bed now as they're told. But the next morning, Buster and Bandit have surprised Mommy by making breakfast. They wanted to show how sorry they were. It's Buster's birthday! Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout. And freeze. Oh no, Scout is losing balance. 
<laughs> and so is Buster! <laughs> they are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance! <laughs> Bandit is losing balance! Oh no! He knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing Pass the Parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped. Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake! Blow out the candles! Go, Buster! <laughs> what a feast! All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster. Wakey, wakey, Buster. It's a brand new day. Wait a minute. There's no color. That's strange. Even Robin doesn't have any color. Look, Robin. Buster made you colorful again. Well done, Buster. <laughs> oh no, that baby duckling looks sad. She's lost her color. Maybe Buster can help. Great job! The color is back again. Oh, look how happy the duckling is now. Oh, look! Terry's farm has lost its color, too. Can Buster help? <laughs> he sure can! You've got the magic touch, Buster! Oh, no! Not Scout, too! Go on, Buster! Help her be colorful again! There you go, Scout! Back to normal! Look! Buster can change the color of things, too! Now the ball is green! And now the ball is purple. Buster knows how to color things in. Wow! Buster made the gout rainbow colored. Now he's rainbow colored too. It's Buster the rainbow bus. It's Terry again. Now it's rainbow Terry. And look at all the fields and the barn. Rainbow colors everywhere. Amazing. Buster even turned the clouds different colors. There's just one thing missing. A rainbow, of course. The rainbow bus is driving off over the rainbow. Bye-bye. Oh, Buster, it was only a dream. And it's raining outside. Oh, I'm sorry, Buster. Wait. Maybe you're magic after all, Buster. You made the sun come it's out. Buster the bus. I wonder what he's up to today. An Easter egg hunt. There's one Easter egg. Nice work, Buster. There's another. That's two. And three, four, five. So many. Whoa, that's a lot of Easter eggs, Buster. Mmm, they look yummy. Buster loves chocolate eggs. Tasty. Buster's eating as many eggs as he wants. Good morning, Buster. Oh dear, Buster looks very unwell. He has a tummy ache. 
I think he ate too many chocolate Easter eggs. Here comes Scout the car to see if Buster's okay. He looks really sick. Poor Buster. Scout is going to take him to Amber the ambulance. She'll be able to help. There's Amber. She always knows how to make little buses feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Yup, Buster is sick all right. But luckily, Amber has some medicine to help. Open wide, Buster. That'll make you feel better. But that's not all. If Buster wants to fix his tummy ache, he needs to eat some healthy food, like an apple. There, that'll soothe Buster's grumbly tummy. The next day, Buster is feeling much better. Oh, hey, it's Diggly the Digger. What's Diggly got there? Uh-oh, I think Buster has had enough chocolate Easter eggs for one Easter. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Hey there, Buster. Oh, wow, a soccer ball. Ooh. Look, it's Scout. She wants to play. <laughs> Great kick, Buster. <laughs> nice one, Scout. <laughs> Who's that driving down the road? It's Tony the truck. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, no, Buster. <clears throat> Be careful where you kick the ball. Watch out huh? for Tony. Ouch, that must have hurt. <sighs> I hope Tony is okay. Buster, you have to be more careful. Watch out for that pin. Oh no, it's punctured Buster's tire. Look, Scout, Tony the truck needs help. I know who we need. Oh! Yay, Amber the ambulance. Good job, Scout. It sure is an eventful day. I hope you feel better soon, Tony. Oh, Buster, that sure looks painful. Don't worry now, it was only an accident. Tony is in safe hands and Amber will come back shortly. Buster, look, it's Amber. Let's get you fixed. Off to the garage, Buster goes. Uh huh. Oh, wow, Tony looks great. Buster is getting a new tire. All fixed. Hmm. Oh, Buster, wow. accidents happen. Be more careful next time. 
Great kick, Buster. <laughs> oh no, not again. Buster is being more careful. Look huh? left, look huh? right. Now that's more like it. <laughs> well done, Buster. Over here, Buster. <laughs> it's a sunny day at Buster's house. And Buster and Grandpa are having a great time playing together. Mommy Bus is off to work. Will Buster and Grandpa be able to make dinner together? Whoa, some real cooking. Buster is very excited. Let's cook. Grandpa sets up the stove. Hmm, but what comes next? Buster has an idea. It's chocolate sauce. Hmm, Grandpa doesn't think that's quite right for dinner. Let's take a look at the recipe. They've gathered all the ingredients together. Buster starts by adding some flour to the bowl. Whoa, easy there, Buster. Oops, the flour has gone everywhere. Now Grandpa and Buster are covered in flour. Buster is adding the finishing touches to the mixture. Careful the mixture doesn't go everywhere. Great job, Buster. Oops, Grandpa's tomato sauce has splattered all over the floor. And what's going on at the stove? The pot is bubbling over. Oh, look, it steamed up his glasses and now he can't see where he's going. Watch out, Grandpa. Oh dear, this isn't going very well. Grandpa and Buster are clearing up the mess. But Mommy Bus is coming home from work. Uh-oh, they still haven't made dinner. What are they going to do? Grandpa gets some fish fingers out of the freezer. Aha, this gives Buster an idea. Time for chocolate sauce. Mommy Bus is wondering what Buster and Grandpa have made for dinner, just as they're finishing up. I wonder what they've cooked. It's fish fingers and green beans. And chocolate sauce. Are you sure about this, Buster? He gives it a try. Hmm, delicious. Mommy also gives it a try. And it's surprisingly tasty. Well done, Buster. Oh no, Bandit Bus is stealing from the candy shop. Stop, thief! It's Otis the police car. He's come to investigate the case of the stolen candy. Bandit Bus went that way, Otis. I don't think Otis saw Bandit Bus get away. Great idea, Otis. Follow the trail of candy. I think we know who it will lead to. There he is. Stop, thief. Look, Otis, some more clues. Keep following the trail. Wow, Bandit Bus is dropping a lot of candy. Oh, hey, Buster. Oh, I don't think that candy is for you. Buster loves candy. Oh, dear, the trail of candy has led straight to Buster the Bus. Otis must think that Buster is the thief. You've made a mistake, Otis. Buster is innocent. Poor Buster, what are you going to do? Otis is putting Buster in jail. Oh, Buster. Oh, here comes Scout. Maybe Scout can help Buster get out of jail. You have to help Buster, Scout. Prove he's innocent. That's right, Scout. Follow the trail of candy to find the truth. Scout the detective is on the case. There he is. Bandit Bus caught red-handed stealing from the toy shop. You're going down this time, Bandit Bus. Stop right there, in the name of the law. You're under arrest. It's time to put things right and get Buster out of jail. Come on out, Buster, you're innocent. And in goes Bandit the Bus. Thanks, Scout, you're a great detective. If it wasn't for you, Buster would still be locked up. I'm sorry, Bandit Bus, but you had it coming. Stealing is against the law. Well done, Otis. Bye, Bandit. Look at those paint brushes. Buster and his friends are painting the walls in Buster's room today. How exciting. Mommy Bus is bringing them lots of different colored paints. They can paint the wall underneath the window. Hmm, what color should Buster choose? Scout has chosen purple. And Ash has picked red. And Buster? 
Yellow, of course. Let's paint. Oops. Ash adds a red splat to match Scouts. And Buster adds a yellow splat. Awesome! I wonder what Scout is painting first. It's a rocket! Awesome! Cool! Busters go next. What's he going to paint? A bumblebee! Not on the cabinet, Ash! Now they're having a paint fight. Be careful! That paint is very messy! Oh dear! They're getting paint everywhere! What a mess! Uh-oh! The yellow paint is all over the floor! And now the purple! Yikes! Mommy Bus is wondering what all that noise is. That was so much fun! Uh-oh, they didn't realize they were making such a mess! But Buster has a plan. They can use Ash's hose to clear it up. The water is washing away the paint. Great job, Ash! Oh no! Mommy Bus is coming and they haven't finished clearing up the mess yet! Time to get all cleaned up! Ash is hosing Buster down. Splash! Now it's Scout's turn! And that looks like so much fun! And finally, Ash. Well done, everyone. Wow, the room looks completely clean. Time for Ash and Scout to head off home. Oops. Well, not completely. Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys. The ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music! Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too! He's come to listen! Now Buster and Scout have an audience! They're ready to rock! One, two, three, four! Nice! Buster and Scout are really grooving! Nice work, guys! Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drums. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time! That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops! Aw, Ash wants to join in. But he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along. And all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four! There! That sounds even better than before! At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! What a kind thing Buster did! It's Buster, Scout, and Diggly. It's Christmas Eve, and they're excited for Santa to arrive with the presents. Time for bed, guys. Santa won't come if you're still wide awake. Uh-oh, it's that sneaky villain bandit bus. What's he up to this time? There's Santa, putting the presents under the tree. 
He must be very busy tonight. Oh no! Bandit is stealing all the presents from under the tree. What a villain he is! Now he's sneaking away. Whoops! He serves Bandit right. What's he seen now? The golden Christmas star. He's going to steal that as well. Oh dear. He's trying to pull it right off the tree. Look! Now Bandit is all tangled up. It'll take him ages to get untangled. It's taken all night, but Bandit is finally free. Now he's sneaking away with the presents. Oh. Oh, poor Buster. All the presents have been stolen. He looks so upset. Bandit really is the worst. But wait, what's this? What's Bandit doing? Look, Bandit is putting all the presents back under the tree. Maybe he's not so mean huh? after all. All the presents are there after all. Buster is so happy. Merry Christmas! <laughs> There's Santa. Hmm. He doesn't look very pleased with Bandit. But what's this? He puts a present for Bandit under the tree, too. Bandit <laughs> earned it by giving the presents back. You did the right thing, Bandit. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> it's Jessie the Jeep. She's got a cake. Wow, that looks tasty. But here comes Bandit Bus. He looks mischievous. Oh no! He's eating Jesse's cake! That's not fair at all! Poor Jesse! There's Buster the bus! And there's Bandit, driving too fast! <sighs> Look! Buster's gone to play with Scout! He's given her a soccer ball as a present! Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower. But here comes Bandit. I wonder what that awful bully is up to. Oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower. Bandit is a menace. Uh-oh, he's seen Scout's ball. Bandit is stealing the ball for himself. What a bully! Buster wants to do something. Poor Scout is really upset. Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. Now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. Buster is so excited to go play with his best friend, Scout. What'll they play today? Ooh, Grandpa has a remote-controlled car! Buster's going to control it first. Vroom, vroom! Look at it go! Now Scout wants to go. But Buster wants to keep driving. Uh-oh. Scout doesn't think that's fair. She wants a turn. Oh, dear. Now they're fighting over the remote. They both want to control the toy car. Oh no! The car crashed and broke! 
Now nobody can play with it. Buster and Scout are upset with each other. They're not playing anymore. It's so sad when friends argue. But wait, I think Grandpa has an idea. He's giving the remote to Scout and the toy car to Buster. They'll need to work together to fix it. Aw, oh, now they've made up. Friends always forgive each other. There! Now they can both control the car. <laughs> <laughs>